let's start how to work with the sqlite open helper or how we are going to create our own sqlite open helper let's see that i have already created the sqlite project and let me create some things over here so main activity already there and here i'm going to create one java class say my or db helper i'm going to create something called as db helper so it is a kind of class remember that and class which is going to extends to sqlite open helper remember that sqlite open helper is an abstract class can you see that sqlite open helper is an abstract class what it does a helper class to manage the database creation and the version management database creation and the version management see this you create a subclass by implementing on create and on upgrade method see they are saying that if you are going to implement it on create and on upgrade method would be there so here is my the db helper and let me implement the methods like this on create and on upgrade okay you need to override one constructor as well over here see i am overriding constructor as well so this constructor comes with context database name cursor factory and the version last parameter is the version context database name cursor factory and the version so these three things it would be needing <laughs> see on create <coughs> and on upgrade these are the two methods which are the abstract methods so here this is a very good place to write you if your database is going to get created very first time right your application is going to launched very first time and if you are doing any database operation first this on create method from the helper class is going to be called only once this on create method is going to be called only once if you are going to change this version if your older version and the newer version are different then this on upgrade method gets called so here what i'm i'm going to do is that here is this is the very good place to create your tables right let's create some table say db dot execute sql and sqls like this create table name of the table my table right and some name of the table and the columns of the table say my name and text right and say my age you can say number why i have created the or why i have written the create table over here because this on create method is going to be called only once your application is going to get installed and you are going to deal with the database so this method is going to be called only once remember that right this method is going to be called what only once and this method is going to be called on per version change okay now what i'm going to do is that on the click of what i can say let's let's create some ui for our this application let me enable the preview linear layout let's have the linear layout and orientation as vertical this and here i would be having two text boxes like right like the edit text edit text width would be the match parent height would be the wrap content and id you can say at id edt my name over here like this my name and you can say hint 
my name like this another one one another edit text for my age here you can say instead of my name you can say my age right don't do this thing at string you can say edit my name create the string my name likewise and here you can say at string my edit my age remember that this is number my age and you can say my age value remember that this is type of number so here I, what I can do is that input type and the number like this and that's why you are going to enter only numbers over here right and you can give the max length as well say max length three three digits would be the max length okay 999 would be the last limit fine now I would be having few buttons see button match parent and the wrap content you can say ID at plus ID btn insert insert and here let me have text at string and you can say btn insert insert then btn update let me copy this over here instead of insert let me have update insert update crude operations right we are looking for the crude operations insert update delete you can say btn delete here you can say delete insert update delete and display btn display and here also you can have display btn display and display display some data over here so we have these four things and here you can have one text view match parent wrap content you can provide some ID at plus ID text info or say DB info text db info right and here you can say that's it fine text db info so we had some setup over here about the buttons right we have some text boxes and few buttons now what I want to do is that I want to fire the insert query right I want to fire the insert query on the type of insert update on the type of update delete on the type of delete and the query on the type of display right so what we have seen in this tutorial so we created the helper we created this what you can say table over here so in on create we created the table we have fired create table my table your name and this thing right okay so in the next tutorial what we are going to see is that how to work with the crude operations or how to have the basic fundamental operations create replace update and delete right we'll see in the next tutorial so stay in touch fine so if you like our videos kindly subscribe us now